polynomial zeros intercepts and the end behavior we are given a polynomial px equals 3 times x minus 1 times x plus 3 squared in factor form so first let us look at the zeros of this polynomial so we write first factor x minus 1 equals 0 so then you can say x equals 1 and here we get x equals negative 3 so these are my zeros of the polynomial also at the same time you can say x equals 1 and x equals negative 3 are the intercepts of the polynomial so we can say zeros are x equals 1 and the exponent here is 1 so multiplicity 1 x equals negative 3 you have a square so multiplicity 2 later we will see that when the multiplicity is odd number it will cross the x-axis if the multiplicity is even then it will touch the x-axis now we'll be looking for y-intercept so we know y-intercept x is 0 so if you plug x equals 0 in the equation you get y equals 3 times 0 minus 1 and then 0 plus 3 squared that will give you 3 square is 9 9 times 3 is 27 times negative 1 is negative 27 this is your y-intercept we cannot have more than one y-intercept but we can have more than one x-intercepts for the end behavior we need to look at the power function so the power function let me call y equals 3 times x and then x squared we just ignore x intercept we just ignore this constant this constant that will give us the power function so then this one is 3x to the 3 third order power function now you know the graph of this function is this type so when i'm going x goes to infinity y goes to infinity when x goes to negative infinity y goes to negative infinity so then we say x goes to infinity y goes to infinity x goes to negative infinity y goes to negative infinity these are called end behavior of the graph let us look at these in the graphing calculator we type the function three times x minus one then x plus three squared graph in the regular window standard window zoom six so you can see clearly this is negative three and the graph touches it and this is one it crosses the end behavior you can see when x approaches negative infinity it goes all the way down and then it goes all the way up so we have compared with the parent function or power function in this case like that so we are done for this part we have our second example this is not in factor form so first we try to factor it so you can factor out x squared first and then you get x squared minus 5x minus 6 further if you factor the trinomial you get x minus 6 and then x plus 1 because when you foil you can see it is x squared minus 5x minus 6 so the zeros are x equals 0 from the first one then x equals 6 from the second one and then x equals negative 1 these are also x intercepts y intercept so y intercept will be you write y equals put all x zero so you get zero to the four minus five times zero squared sorry three and then negative six times zero squared so this is zero basically the graph is passing through the origin now end behavior so the power function you have already there you can ignore all other terms it's just x to the four that's the power function or if you just drop this constants automatically you will see x to the 4 now the graph of x to the 4 function is like this 
So what we see here, when x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity. When x goes to infinity, y goes to x goes to negative infinity, y goes to infinity. So end behavior will be x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity. x goes to negative infinity, y goes to positive infinity. So just keep it in mind that if your polynomial is of degree even, then it will go in the same direction. If it is odd, then it will go in the opposite direction depending on leading coefficient. In this case, our leading coefficient is 1. We are taking a third example. It says a polynomial of degree 5 has y-intercept y equals 60 and then zeros are like this. So then you form the equation of polynomial like a x minus 1 is squared, x minus 2 is squared and then x plus 5. So we see now the y-intercept is 60. Therefore, the polynomial passes through the point 0, 60. So let us plug this point. So y is 60 and then my x will be 0, 1 is squared, 0 minus 2 is squared, 0 plus 5. Now if you simplify, you get 60 equals a and then you get 1, you got a 4, you got a 5. So that means you have 20a, that means a is 60 over 20, which is 3. So then our polynomial look like now f of x is 3 times x minus 1 squared, x minus 2 squared, and then x plus 5. We are done. Thank you.